a 50. I ate so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I ate good. Not fries and ribs, y'all. That's all a girl need. That is all a girl need. And let me tell you, let me tell y'all, I engulfed it. Oh my gosh. I promise y'all, I promise y'all I was going to engulf that food. You probably got like 30 more minutes left in the game. On the mic, monster. Oh. Okay, guys, let's get started. Okay, we are right back in it. Why is the door in the middle? Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. What? I told you to drop the investigation. What? Your son is a serial killer. What? How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. What? Why am I naked? Oh, never mind. And he drowning me? Wow, of course. No, we keep it on my character still alive, bro. What do you need me to do? I'm here for it. I'm here. I'm here for it. Um, look around. Look around. Lauren, Lauren, wake up! The windshield. The water's pushing it in. Quick! There isn't a second to lose. Ugh. Fuck! I can't be wasting my time like this, bro. Give me a piece of glass, give me a piece of glass. I'm not letting any of my characters die. Oh, no, God damn it. This is L1. That's Alright. Oh fuck. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That's me. Let's get Lauren. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Lauren! Yes, my love, okay. Is she dead? Dead? Oh, we survived. I told you my lady and my characters die.
was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. You guys are feeling for me? Feelings! Oh my gosh. Somebody's mad. Eat that. Who do you think you are, bro? Oh. Be a bullet. Oh shit. Run that back. But I joke was horrible now. Open your mouth. And speak to me, speak to me with your channel like it's picture day. Bitch, that's boy, and I fucked your mom long as well. Boom, boom. Ooh, let me see, Lee. Let me see, Julie. Alright. Run that back. Um, we're gonna have music in the back. If they wanna, if, if, if they wanna ban my account, they can. Honestly, I don't give a crap anymore. I bite my tongue, it's a bad habit. That's too low for bad habit. That's perfect. What you oh, oh, what you do? Made a move, but it made a move. If I knew, I'd be a child. It's a child to pursue. I'm the man, but I didn't take a stand by me. Not too, too good for me, my dear. Never gave me time to be my dear. It's okay, things happen for us. Things are bad, I can't wait for you, yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! We here now. Stupid! What's up, what's up, what's up? We get this nigga first. Hit him. Damn him. Damn you. Fuck. I need to get together, bro. I think I didn't get shot. Come on, you know these buttons. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.
Stay back! Don't come near me, or I'll shoot! <clears throat> Fucking asshole. Please, don't... killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No! No, please! Don't hurt me! Then tell me the truth, kid. Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Stop! Stop! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... He held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. What about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. Good information. Try to shoot me, bro. My heart! I need my pills. In that draw. There. I'm not heartless. This one? Don't know why that's me. Might as well just walked out. He frozen in air. Oh, not this bitch again. I ain't killed, never been killed. Alexa, volume up by one. Nice to meet ya. She invited me to her group. I walk in. Hello, I'm looking for Ann Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Big bitch. Are you a married. member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. 
It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Um, excuse me. Why do you do that? I hate how free roam this place is. Something bad is about to happen to me. I don't know if I, I feel it coming. Might be so sad, might leave my nose running. I just hope she don't want me. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? Is it time for no, my pills Mrs. already? Shepherd, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food, the food isn't, isn't very, very good. good. You know. Alexa, stop. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Mm. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Mm. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Alright, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Flowers. Talk to her about the flowers. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? He's gonna, yeah, she's going to say the other boys. name is Ethan. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. I'm sure they didn't.
Now talk to me more about them. Seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Gotta find something else to show her. Paper. She'll talk about origami. For sure. That is what origami is made out of, right? Yeah, an origami book, see? Oh my gosh, I'm already on the wrong track, bro. Hold on, let me restart. Oh, I can let go of these. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, that's good. I can let go of them. Alright, I can do this then. Can I go with that? Gotta press this. Can I go with that? Gotta press this. Can let go of this. Gotta let... Gotta do... Fuck. It's timed. Okay, okay. I got it. This is the one. This is the one. It's good to know that I don't have to hold it. I can let go of that. Let go of this. Do this. Do this. Fudge. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, this is the one. This is the one. I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this. Ah, too soon. Let's go. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. It was a different one. Wasn't that one? No, it wasn't that one. Wasn't that one? Was it the crane? She said that wasn't her favorite one. We're gonna try the hummingbird. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Let's see if it's somewhere around here. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Oh, she seriously does not remember her other kid. That's kind of sad. I would never want, oh my gosh, if my mom had Alzheimer's, holy fuck. If my dad had, oh my god, bro. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. So it wasn't the hummingbird. It wasn't the crane. Dude. You want a dog? A frog? Oh, felt nice. Um... There has to be like, maybe it's in the trash.
Okay, are you done? Where's the trash can? Is there a trash can? I can't never be cute. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. She's gonna say Ethan, bro. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. That's not true. Now we both know that's not true. We'll try the frog. Why do you restart the whole entire thing if you just get one wrong? That doesn't seem right. Nice. I love origami, but that's not my favorite I one. I love origami, <laughs> but that's not my favorite one. Dog it is. She invite me to her grave. I won't get to say hi. Okay. They making me work my booty off for this one. They made me work my booty off for that one. It's this one for sure, bro. It's this one, it's this one. Y'all see how much they made me do? What? You were done, okay. Hello? Okay. Thank you. Oh, right, you know how to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. Okay, what are the names? I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling Hi, them they wouldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. What can I, what, what thing can I do to help her jog her memory? Freak. Eat like, what you want me to do, gang? Um, how's everyone doing? You know, talk to me. Y'all talk to me. How y'all feeling? All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Hmm. Hopefully everyone's doing good. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to jog her memory by like... Okay, I did not like that shot at all. Um, so I'm just doing things out of jog her memory. Max, wait, Max. I gotta look up, I gotta find something that says Max. Max, Max, Max. He wanted to name all dogs Max. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, Caitlin, you're clipped. Max, Max, Max. Um, I can check myself out in the mirror again. I look like Michael Jackson. Stop this madness, I'm a savage. Pretty sure I've done literally everything. I pressed everything, I went every I did everything in this room. Let me look it up. Still have your ring. I think I need a flower. I need to get her a flower and then come back in. It's so weird to just walk with. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for 10 years, and you're the first. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Why does she walk like that? It's like she knows what she's doing, too. Look at her walk. Ugh. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. Mm. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, 
I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Who was your son's name? What was your son's name? Perhaps he was uh, Ethan. Yeah, that was it. Ethan. His name was Ethan. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Ethan. Come closer. I'm coming. It was e Ethan. You're not gonna fucking reveal it. It was him? No way it was Ethan, my bunny boo boo, my sugar doo doo. Plus, Ethan's house, the first house, had origami figures nearby. And turn around, let's make magic. We're gonna play as Ethan now to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it was easy. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can actually do this one. The last origami figure. The last trial. The last origami figure. The That's last the only trial. Thing in his mind. The only thing in his mind is origami, bro. That's so bright, bro. No one needs to see that. Where are you going? Kill yourself, and I'll tell you where your son is. Like, bro, watch. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life? What did I say? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. The cameras. He must be watching me. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Who's gonna look after the son? One hour to live. Just enough time to save Sean. Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous. I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. Save Sean. And die. Right. He loses his father? He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right Can thing I sit to do. down? Am I willing to die to save my son? Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this, and then no one can save Sean. There's no choice. I've got to do it. I'm a janky, yeah. If I want to save my son. Nothing to lose. I've come too far to stop now.
We're drinking. We're drinking, yeah. That nigga gonna be dead by the beach, watch. I think that's where the most rain goes. Why is it moving like that? Why is the camera moving like that? The last letters have been sent to your phone. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. With barely any letters, bro. Nigga, you don't know the address? Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. What are we doing? Hold on, what does that say again? Seriously, bro, what are we listening for? I don't know what we're listening for, bro. Nah, fuck it. Hold on. I'm looking this up real quick. <laughs> Yo, wait, bro. Where? Theodore. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. Theodore. Nigga, what?
We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. It's him, bro! Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have That's not the killer. Back, Norman. Said Theodore. What's your problem, gang? Overdosing? Mm. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Said so the over and we're not gonna overdo it. We just gonna do this and we go call it quits. Tire tracks. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Play it again. You won. What are you trying to tell me? I have no time left. They give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Oh my god. It is Blake. Close this out.
Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. It, that's what I said! Investigate further. So we're not like him. Gonna keep analyzing. We're not gonna be like him. That always he has always desperate needs Two to receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. Let's open this file. Let's do the same thing with the geo analysis to the this over here. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Geoanalysis. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Bring this out. Take this out. Take out the files. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. There's a zone that's by his house. Was there any killer by his house? That's what I'm trying to see. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. This is in 2010. Fuck, we gotta close this out. His eyes trying to bleed. A random black kid died. We gotta close this out. And it's trying to light. Yeah, we're closing this out. Give up. He's gonna fucking die, bro. I gotta hurry up then. Hold on. Okay, gun. I need to find the gun in the video. I need to find the gun in the video. the gun
Is that it on the table? Okay. I need to stop this. Fuck. Fuck. Both of his eyes are over the map. Why did you close it? Starting the storm too, bro. I need the And file. Fuck, wrong thing. I don't have time, bro. I don't have time. Stop. That's sick. I don't have time. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Fuck. We gotta restart that. My eyes are starting to hurt, like like his, bro. Man, I don't even be on my phone that much. I be outside. 
I've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn oh, hole somewhere. Juno. I don't know you see me next to me. gonna die, and I'm going around in circles. All packed up and ready to go. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to Made a move! Could have made a move! Is it too late to pursue? It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Let's do this quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck on the floor. I don't give a fuck about it. If you just be get clouded, get clouded. My position, wish I stop wilding. My family, wish I stop smiling. Still on the east side, smoking with my OG. Cause they're the only ones that really know me. I was fucking super stars when I was 19. This shit we did, you won't believe me. Now you're at the turn up looking lonely And they wonder why I'm quiet Wait, why, why I'm quiet at the house party Can everybody and see me? The victims disappeared in the fall. Uh, uh. Sorry The killer is white Age between 30 and 45 He is intelligent Calm and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. It's Blake. So this quick. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Running out of time, running out of time, running out of time, running out of time. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop.
Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Can't it snow near the crib? Oh, there's some near the cribbo. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Try it again. The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Pause this. What you mean, go on?
We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? All packed up and ready to go? Yes, I am, Buster. And I also pussed. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Being broke doesn't mean you're a bad person. Your car was declined. Can you make it for water Can you check your five bucks down then you got me, please? Yeah. Oh, sir. Life is freaking hard. So go better mount up with me! <laughs> Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Mm. Oh, one last thing, sir. <laughs> Ooh, that stretch. Oh gosh. Very dangerous. <gasps> that was a really good stretch. You if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Let's get to work. Boom, you have the clues. Dust. Ari was in record mode when I was Ari fighting with the killer. Perhaps Ari needs to get some bitches! Anyways, we analyze it. Boom. We pause it. We pause it! We pause it! Dude, that's why. Pause. Analyze. Thank you. Don't watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. <laughs> Office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Two receipts from the same gas station might be near the killer's home. Oh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars.
There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Look, look at us. We're not even dizzy. No blood, no nothing. Okay. Look at him getting all nervous because he know I'm the. Sorry. Sorry, Jenna. Scratchy, scratchy, scratch. Are you all about to kiss? Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only You know it's not about the killer at this point. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is over. Yo, what? What was going on behind the scenes? What was going on behind the scenes? Cause uh, the math ain't math. The math is not math. All right, this kid's taking like years. Maybe his cologne smells really good. Cause why? Ain't that the car that he drove? The killer drove? Hold on, bro. I'll find someone. Then we'll what if, like, the killer you. was the private detective? Head. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. <laughs> don't. don't forget about Chris Scotty. Scotty? fuck falls down there like how do you actually get the how do you get in that situation bro how do you not see that big pile of water and think hey let me dive in the fuck who really thinks about that only white people i'm telling you only white people activities bro it was you wasn't it yeah you fucking killer you be drowning these kids you fucking murderer
What? He thinks it's Blake when it was actually him. was so wrong. Wait, huh? But he poisoned the drink. Huh? Wait, no, it was a blood cuz I'm thinking cuz he was in a whole nother room. Because he that nigga was in a whole nother room when like the his best bud died. So I he couldn't have poisoned the drink, cause what? Killed him. Oh my fucking god. Sorry, I can't really focus because all these niggas are texting me, bro. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I <laughs> oh my god. Alright, back to what I was doing. She knows. She knows. And I know she knows. Mm -hmm. 
not her going to his crib, too. The moment of truth. If Ann Shepard gave me the right name, the origami killer lives here. You're gonna make me press some wacky buttons, bro. Yeah. Dude, what do you want me to do? What? If I don't get it this time, I'm like actually like giving up. Dude, like what do you want? Like, actually, hold on, let me check out my headset. You touch, girl. Finally, bro. Damn. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out.
You weren't even looking. I'll go through it, room by room, but there's bound to be some kind of clue. I'm so focused right now. This whole entire room search. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's, That's why children shit. went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Why is it, bro? Why is it zooming in like that, bro? Like I'm actually starting to get scared. This is probably where he is. Not gonna lie. Is that pot? This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Sean Mars. The lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with right shit. It needs a password. It's gonna be. John? Max! Got it. Let's go. Max, the name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, there's no time to lose. Roosevelt Road, Roosevelt Road. Ha! Ah, fuck me in the asshole. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Shut up! You don't understand. I guess I don't. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Ain't there a window I could just smash? 
Don't panic. Just stay calm and think. Definitely did not do that side. Did this side. Uh. Is Nick putting gas in here? No way I'm getting out, bro. No way I'm dying here. No way I'm dying here. There's no way I'm dying here. I refuse to die here. I'm not dying here. The fuck you think you are? I'm not dying here. Go through the freaking window. It ain't that high up. I know it ain't. Get to the freaking pole. Ain't you tripped into her? <coughs> Niggas burning the crib. Come on. My tongue ready. Pause. Go. Time, I don't have time, I don't have time. Who oh, I'm like that. Why did I do that? It's way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. I gotta find something else. door right here they get burnt the whole crib mad good my like protecting my characters I'm not gonna do so
that was definitely a whoopsie daisy on my part because while I was going really fast I am um, Is there like a trash can over here or something? Character survived. <laughs> Literally, okay, the only character that might die is Sean. Sean Mars is. I got to call that FBI guy. Jaden. He's the only one I can try. Who the fuck is Jaden? He'll be able to save him. We're calling Ethan. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Has it been more than an hour? It's Madison. I know where Sean is. He's at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. He's still alive. You can still save him. I'm on my way. Be careful, Ethan. The killer's still out there. No one's gonna stop me from saving my son. My bike is imperfectly good. Who the fuck is Jaden? Who the fuck is Jaden? Norman. It was Norman. I should have called him. Norman's going to a warehouse. There's a store called Ling Ling. That does not seem right to me. At all. Oh, Sean. Sean, you best not die now, little boy. Try your best to survive. Ask me if I give a damn. Ask me if I give a damn. And then I remember you. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? 
Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grave. No, 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 no. Nice. And it's back to my nigga Sean. Come on! Oh. Oh. What do I need? I'll get you out of there, Sean. I need something to pry it open. I think you better die in a couple seconds. So. What do you need? A key? I see his little hand. Norman is a god. Best cop ever, bro. Norman, watch out! Norman! I'm not letting you die. I'm keeping a buck 50. I'm so focused right now. What the fuck? Oh, I thought they were just on the ground. Sniper's in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami Ash, killer. what is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it.
have a free. I thought you were gone. <laughs> Dad, I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. an hour ago and I'm not dead <laughs> Ash get her out of my face Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes he's innocent Sorry I didn't come to you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son.
There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Ma Days after his disappearance, Morris had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. Today's World Magazine this week, and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer, and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good evening.
You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. Stay back! Don't come near me! Or I'll shoot! 